What's up guys, this is Logan with AGO. I'm actually out here doing a little scouting for turkeys since our season opens here in about two weeks. Um, I'm out looking for some Merriams uh, up here in the Rockies, in the mountains. But as you can see, beautiful. Anyway, while I'm up here, I figured I'd just go over kind of what we're gonna be running this year as far as like glass goes and optics go for um, this fall. So right here, I'm running an Alaskan guide series, bino harness or bino pack, whatever you want to call it. I love this thing. I've had this thing for two and a half years now. It's great. Um, I don't have my rangefinder on me, but I normally run a rangefinder right here in the front, Leupold, uh, what is it, the RX? RXI 1600, something like that. Um, I actually have my release on me. I run my release here on the side. Then on this side, keep my indicator, wind indicator bottle. And then obviously in the main harness. So this is a set of Diamondback 10 by 50s. Had them for a couple years now. This is just for um, tripod, which I got right here. But anyway, so I've had these for two, three years now. I actually picked them up. It's kind of funny. I picked them up at a pawn shop, paid 110 bucks for them. And at the time, I think they were selling for like 280 at uh, Shields, because I remember going and looking at them. Anyway, and then flipping over to like what you're definitely gonna need when you come out here. If you're running 10 by 50s, you're definitely gonna need a glass, like an actual spotting scope. Um, you could probably get away without the spotting scope. You could probably get away without the spotting scope if you go to um, a higher power. I think they make up to like 18s or 15s. I don't know, something like that. You can go check them out. But what I'm running here is, this is the Diamondback. Let me go on the other side so you can see. This is the Vortex Diamondback. And this, ooh, cactus. This is the 20 by 60 by 80. And I absolutely love it. This is the angled one. Um, definitely the way to go, in my opinion. I love this glass, it's awesome can really get out there. I used to have a cheapo one and uh, this was a great investment. To be honest with you. So glad I made the decision to uh, go to this. So let's hop over onto some phone scope footage and I'll just kind of show you guys uh, how that looks through this glass. All right guys, what we're looking at right now, this is at 20 power. Um, the ridge we're looking at, I would guess is probably about three and a half miles away. That's probably about three and a half. Let's see if we can't bring it into this ridge that's uh, about six, seven, eh, it's probably like 800 yards. All right, cool. So what we're looking at right there, that's 20 power at about, yeah, probably around 800 to 1,000 yards, I would guess. But uh, yeah, so you can zoom in on the phone, really get in there, and then if I wanna zoom in and then I can Trying to stabilize the tripod, it's a little windy. And then I can, the thing would stop shaking. You know, you can zoom in on the phone, but let's zoom in on the actual spotter and see what it looks like. All right guys, that's 80 power. We're zoomed all the way out on the phone. Let's see if we can't crisp it up a little. The focus ring. There you go, guys. It's still shaking a little. It's because we're so zoomed in. This is a light tripod. But yeah, that's about 800 yards. Now let's see if we can't step it back out to that three, four mile mark. Oh, shit. I believe it was this one. So that's pretty much what we're running this year, guys. Uh, we're going to have the spotting scope binos and then yeah i mean i have my camera too with the telephoto lens in the uh, bag here but um we're gonna get way better quality i think at least for long range stuff out of the spotting scope with the uh, phone scope but so far loving the phone scope works great 
Don't even have to take my case off, thank goodness. I got the life proof version, which uh, clips in right over the case. So it's awesome, I love it. But yeah guys, that's what we're running this year out here in Colorado. So if you guys have any questions about the optics we're running or anything like that, please feel free to hit us up. Um, I think Ty runs a 12 by 50 diamond bag and I think Wadi runs an eight by 42 or 10 by 42. Yeah. So feel free to hit us up guys. If you have any question about optics that we run, uh, this is the scope that I ran in North Dakota when we were out on our Badlands hunt or little Missouri grassland, whatever you want to call it, that hunt. So thanks guys. Thanks for checking in. Have a great day and uh, make sure you guys tune in on s Mondays. We shoot on Sundays. Tune in on Mondays to catch our podcast. We just started doing it. Uh, we're going to be filming every Sunday for the foreseeable future, just kind of updates. And we'll talk about what we d we're doing throughout the week. Um, we got some partnerships coming up here and we're going to have a couple people on the podcast. So make sure you go check that playlist out. So we'll probably be putting videos up on Wednesday and then podcast should be coming out Sundays or Mondays, depending on our filming schedule. But thanks for watching, guys. Take care.